I don't, I don't even know whether it's in the shot or not. Eh. <laughs> Once we reached Batu Arang, we looked for a place to eat. The first shop we came across was this wantan mee shop. The owner called out to us and said we could eat outside the shop. Dining in was not allowed, but she allowed us to use her chairs. It was nice to get out of the midday sun. The owner told us that she made the noodles herself. We liked it so much, we wanted to buy some to take back home, but she said it was not possible, since it would go bad when we were cycling under the sun. Batu Arang is a coal mining town. The British mined coal here for the use in their railways. Started in 1908, it has seen better days. It suffered the Japanese invasion during World War II, strikes, floods and fires. The mine was closed in 1960. People stopped using coal and were already using petrol. When the mine was closed, so too was the railway that transported the coal out of Batu Arang. In 2011, the town celebrated its 100th anniversary and was granted a heritage status. There aren't many interesting landmarks that I could see except this one, so I'm making the best of it. It's right in the middle of the town and you can't miss it. Batu Arang is also famous for its brick factory and evidence of that can be seen in the red brick buildings around the town. Then we cycled up to the ammunition factory. Yes, in this sleepy town, there is an ammunition factory. I entered it before, many years ago when I was a salesman. There are some nice homes here that are facing a small lake. Not every home is pre-war. Then, it was time to say goodbye to Batu Arang. Despite it being noon, we decided to cycle home. I'm cycling a Voltron e-bike. When you're tired, this bicycle is a blessing. Just turn on the pedal assist and the moto will take some burden off you. The only thing I have to remember is to wait for the rest because it is easy to cycle ahead on the Voltron e-bike. When the sun is beating down on you and there are no trees to take a break under, you have no choice but to keep going.
We took a break here because there was coconut water for sale at only 4 ringgit. Yeesh, bodo me a lorry. If you like my videos, please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. When we reached Sungai Bulo, it rained. We waited two hours before deciding to cycle in the rain home. <laughs> 